What's up guys, Tao here. Today will be the very first time iPadOS 13 launch. One of the most welcome feature is the ability to organize or manage different USB stick by using the file app. Um, here I have a iPad Air 2. I installed the uh, iPadOS 13 on it and reviewed a few weeks ago. Today I will be using different uh, USB stick and with different file system. Uh, connect to this iPad Air 2 just to see which file system is supported or recognized by the iPad OS 13. All right, here I have the part. Now, one very important thing to connect to any uh, Lightning iPad, you will need this Lightning to USB 3 adapter and that will actually have a extra power supply uh, line, extra Lightning port to give extra power supply because um, you will need uh, more power for this. So for that, I will be using uh, this anchor power bank. And so I will just need to uh, plug into the additional lightning port. Now here I have prepared, um, actually it's five USB stick. Um, it has five different file systems. Uh, there's NTFS, Mac OS Extended, um, EXFAT, F-E-X-F-A-T, FAT32. Now for the bonus, I actually created a EXT4, which is the Linux file system. Um, just for you guys out there who use the Linux system, who actually owns the iPad, just in case you want to transfer the files between them. See, see if the iPad OS 13 recognize uh, EXT4. Here on the iPad, uh, make sure you have the file app open, uh, which is file app. So before I plug in, I just quickly run through you guys. All those USB stick, I actually give a name according to the file system. So for example, um, this FAT32 file system, the USB stick name actually is called FAT32, and the, the pink one is EXFAT and so on and so on. So when appears on the iPad in the files app, you will see exactly the name of those file system. So hopefully this thing will work and see which one is recognized. Okay, here we go. The light is on. Oh, okay. So we have, uh, we have we have Mac Extended, which is recognized. Just that one, EX Fat recognized. The pink one and FAT32, which is that one. Not surprised. Uh, however, NTFS is not recognized. Okay, let's see if can create a files or create anything onto the uh, USB stick. So here, I tap on Max Extended and create a folder. Okay, you can actually create a folder as well, so you can read and write. Xfat, oh yes, you can do the same. Okay, FAT32 and this, yes, you must be able to do that. Okay, here we go. So out of these four, only the NTFS file system is not recognized on the iPad OS 13 um, so far. So we don't know if Apple gonna change this in the future. So support a um, variety of different file system. But for now, NTFS is not supported by iPad OS 13. Okay, now let's try this. This is the EXT4, which is the Linux system. So let me just unplug this and plug this in, see if you recognize it. And no. Okay, it does not recognize it. So it doesn't recognize EXT4, a Linux system. Well, that's a shame. 
sorry for those of you who use the Linux system and you're out of luck. All right, as you guys can see from the test, out of these five USB stick, five file systems, only the NTFS and EXT4 Linux file are not recognized. Um, you may ask why this is important, why would I care? Well, I think you should. Now, if you do own the Lightning iPad or the iPad Pro with Type-C, so if you have a smaller file, for example, 64 gig for the iPad Air 2 or any Lightning uh, iPad, you, have, you might have 32 gig and you wanna, you know, get some movies on it, on a go, and you wanna watch a lot of movies or transfer files in between. Now, the downsides of the macOS Journal or the FAT32, so <laughs> macOS Journal that only works on Apple. If you have Windows or you wanna transfer in between, you know, you're out of luck. So if you have FAT32, FAT32, especially from Windows, the maximum a single file size is up to four gig. So some movies could be five gig, four point something gig, and again, you're out of luck. So you can't really put that a single file larger than four gig onto a FAT32 USB stick. However, the best solution is XFAT, which is EXFAT. So this one is recognized by Apple and by uh, Windows, so you can read and write, and you can write up to however gig of single file size, which is over four gig limit. So that EXFAT file system is your solution, is your best friend. So if you do own Mac, if you do own PC at the same time, you wanna transfer them between. So EXFAT file system is the way to go. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click on the like and share it uh, with others so other people get, get benefit out of it. So see you in the next video.